Hello everyone, welcome to Success Development. In this video, we are going to install a tablet script by Scripts by Finn into our 5M server. So, without any further ado, let's get to the installation process. So, this is the script which I'm going to install into our 5M server. I'll put the link in the description below. So, this is the tablet which we are going to install into our 5M server as you can see over here. By clicking over here, you can try out the tablet before purchasing it as you can see. So to purchase the tablet, you just need to click over here. Then click over here and get the script into your CFX portal and download the script. After downloading it, we just need to extract the files into our find resource folder. So I'll be extracting it over here. Just like this, you will receive these three files over here as you can see. Now open the sbf underscore tablet folder. Go to installation. If you're using Kubico framework, then you have to make some changes into the SQL. For that, just open this SQL into your code editor. So I'll be using Visual Studio Code. So we just need to remove this line of codes from here. Just like this. Now press Ctrl Save. Now we have to run the SQL into our Heady SQL. For that, double click over here. Open your Heady SQL. Select your server. Then click on Run. After that, open the DB optional folder. Here we have the SQL for our ambulance and police MDT. So let's install them both. Select the English version of the SQL. Open the Heady SQL. Select your server, then click on Run. Same with the police job. Now we have to copy both these images over here. Then paste into your QB inventory. For that, open the Cubicle folder. QB inventory. HTML, images, then paste those images over here. Just like this. Now we have to ensure the items for that. Open the Cubicore folder, shared, items.lua. Now come to the very bottom line of the code. So in the description, I have put the items code for the tablet. You just need to copy it from there and paste it over here. Just like this. Now open the SBF tablet folder, go to shared, then config.lua. So this is the configuration of our tablet over here as you can see. In the framework section, I'll be changing the ESX to QB over here. You can configure the time zone for your tablet from here. So I'll be keeping it default for now. If you're using SBF phone script, then you can keep the SBF phone sync to true. So I'll be changing the true to false over here. And for the inventory, I'll be changing the ESX to QB. And for the notification, I'll be changing it to auxlib. And this is the water damage system. If you want your tablet to get damaged when you are in the water, then you just need to keep it on true. Otherwise, you can change it to false. This is the configuration of the license over here. As you can see, you can add or remove any license from here. This is the configuration of police MDT. And over here, we have the configuration for EMS MDT. This is the configuration for faction. And over here, this is a configuration for mechanic. And there is one more configuration which is for life invader. Now let's open the configuration underscore apps.lua. Through this configuration, you can add or remove any applications from your tablet. So I'll be keeping them default for now. So that's it for the installation part. Now let's start the server. So we are in a server now. Now let's spawn the tablet over here. So as you can see, this is the tablet in our inventory over here. Now let's use the tablet. So this is the first interface of our tablet over here as you can see. So for the language, I'll be selecting English. After selecting the language, just click on continue. Over here, I'll be selecting the dark mode. Okay, the setup of the tablet has been completed now. Now let's open the tablet over here. So as you can see, this is the first interface of the tablet. So let's open the app store. So these are the apps installed into our tablet over here as you can see. If you want to remove any application, just click on remove. Let's install this app again. So I have the police job over here as you can see. Now let's open the police MDT application. So this is the MDT application over here as you can see. So this is my character's name over here. The batch number and the rank of my character as you can see. So this is the map option over here as you can see. So in this map, you can see the trackers of the officers as you can see over here. This is my tracker over here. And this is the dispatch option over here. This is the option of vehicle. And from here, you can search any person in the city. This is a section of reports, case, offenses. You can see each and every categories of the offenses over here. And this is the section of employment as you can see. 
So let's open the ambulance MDT over here. So it's showing access denied as I don't have the ambulance job over here. So let's take the ambulance job. Now I have the ambulance job over here. Now I can access the ambulance MDT. And there are more applications over here as you can see. So to open this application I need the mechanic job. This is a camera over here as you can see. The huge display of the camera. So yes guys that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to 5M development. Goodbye.